So um, if you are peering out your window right now and you happen to be anywhere in the Willamette Valley closer to uh, Dayton or maybe Sublimity or Silverton, and you might be seeing a whole lot of smoke in the air thinking, oh, no, there's there's more wildfires. Well, they're actually doing a bunch of agricultural burns right now. So that is the reason for all the smoke uh, we called to confirm this. And that is what you see out your window. So these ag burns happening in Sublimity, Detroit, Silverton, Lane County. Uh, apparently, there are so many to list. The list is so long, we couldn't even fit it on our screen. But yeah, there are ag burns happening out there. This view right now coming to you from McMinnville. This is looking out towards the southeast. Temperature here right now is 90 degrees. Wind is out of the south at just three miles per hour. So relatively calm conditions right here at the surface. Over to Stoller Winery, another view. This is looking out towards the east and you can see again, it looks kind of smoky out there in the distance. Again, just doing some field burns. Okay, 86 degrees for you at Stoller. And also looking at our winds across the map here, very light, anywhere from about five to 10 miles per hour max. It only starts really getting windy as soon as you make your way over to the eastern slopes of the Cascades and over to the east side of the gorge, the Dells, out of the west at about 20. Okay, how are we looking right now? So far, a nice view of PDX all the way from Vancouver, temperature of 86. Wind is out of the northwest for us at about 7 miles per hour. Temperatures tonight moving closer to that 80 degree mark just before the sun goes down. And then we'll cool off into the lower 70s as we approach midnight. Okay, let's talk about clouds for a moment. Um, overnight tonight through tomorrow morning, about 8.30 in the morning. If you're spending any time, let's say Clark County, Callas County, or over towards the coast, towards Astoria, and all the way down to Lincoln City, you'll be in the clouds for the first few hours of the morning, and then that will start to move away, and then we'll have a mostly sunny afternoon. We'll see the clouds fill back in for the entire valley as soon as we get to Wednesday. Wednesday, we'll have a little bit more of that northerly flow going for you. At the coast, you'll be socked in for several hours Wednesday and then breaking away to some sunshine. And we might get just a touch, just a touch of an offshore flow. Nothing to really dramatically heat us up, but high pressure will be taking over at this time. So we expect an increase in our temperatures Wednesday and Thursday, possibly seeing the low 90s. As soon as we get to Thursday, Thursday morning, again, limited cloud cover in the morning and then some afternoon sunshine. Let's talk about your planner for tomorrow. Tomorrow, kind of a, a carbon copy of what we have today. So we're expecting to get back up to about 85 or 86. Lots of sunshine and again, just some clouds for you in the morning. So overall pattern that's going to be uh, transforming for us. That'll be going into Wednesday and Thursday when those temperatures move into the lower 90s. Some of you may even get into the mid 90s, especially areas to the east. And then that ridge doesn't really stick around all that long. As soon as we hit Friday and then head into the weekend, it flattens out and then we get into a cooler pattern. And that means for us, we could see temperatures top out in the 70s instead of the 80s. And at the coast, that might mean you also get some areas of drizzle. As soon as we get through Sunday, things looking pretty good overall, but not as hot and as sticky as what we had from last week. So look at the difference here. We get to tomorrow in the mid 80s. Wednesday, we're in the low 90s. Thursday, possibly 93 to 94, and then hitting that weekend, looking pretty good. A little bit below normal there for Saturday, mid 70s, and then back up to 80 by the time we hit Sunday. So looking pretty good. A lot of kids involved in football and soccer practice right now. Mm -hmm. They appreciate the cooler temperature. Yeah. Well, hey.